So with uh, OpenStack Trove, you're allowing the other development groups or, or, you know, or individuals within your organization to be able to provision various database engines. Um, you're providing them with the machine images to use. You can manage the configuration that gets used. Um, you can automate a lot of the complex tasks. So you can, you can ensure that the backups are being done a certain way. They're being done at a certain time. You can manage the, you know, the patching and upgrades for all of these. Uh, you can provide them with a uniform way to monitor all the instances. So this is really builds on OpenStack to again provide a, a self-service, uh, elastic, easy to use uh, ways for them to provision, in this case, database servers. And so to give you an overview of how Trove works, again, it's built on top of OpenStack, so it leverages all of the, the core services. So for backups, it stores those uh, images in Swift. Uh, for the machines that it provisions, it stores those images in Glance. For the actual provisioning of compute resources, it uses Nova. And for um, block devices, so for volumes, it uh, leverages Cinder. And the major components of Trove itself, of course, you have the API endpoint, which is then going to translate any incoming requests and pass that on to the task manager. And the task manager generally then is going to pass that task off to one of two, or one of two things. It's going to do it to OpenStack itself, so to Nova to provision a new machine with the given specs, uh, to, you know, to Cinder to create a new volume or it will reach out to the guest agent, which is the piece of Trove that resides on each machine instance. So if the request comes in to back up this instance, then it will pass that request on to the guest agent that's running on that particular, or that's managing that particular machine, and then that guest agent will then finally understand exactly how to execute the backup. It will execute the job and then pass the, the results back to the task manager. Now there are a couple or several uh, provisioning models that are supported as well. So historically it was the single instance. So you would create a single instance of MySQL 5.6, for example. But now as of fairly recently, they've added support for clusters as well. So you can provision, say, a, a four node cluster of MySQL uh, with MySQL cluster or with uh, just four instances of MySQL that are using standard MySQL replication, uh, and so on. There are some additional methods available, but some of them are only available with the Tesoro database as a service uh, offering, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple slides. But just as you know, the, there's a big move to kind of productize, as I noted, uh, OpenStack generally. So you have like the Oracle OpenStack platform. Uh, Tesoro is doing the same basic thing, but with Trove specifically. So they're one of the, um, the major contributors today to the Trove project within OpenStack. They've got a lot of Trove expertise, and they have a Trove uh, database as a service offering uh, community and enterprise versions. And they support some additional things. For example, they support uh, Oracle Database uh, 11G and 12C, including uh, multi-tenant provisioning. And this is just another visualization to try and help you kind of wrap your head around uh, how it all fits together. Again, Trove is built on top of OpenStack and leverages all of those services, you know, the authorization, authentication, the networking, the block storage, object storage, compute uh, service, and so on. And you can also get a sense of where it's going in the future, and you can also see some of the things that, as of today, are, are only offered in the Tesoro database as a service platform, but I expect most of those to kind of filter back into the, the uh, upstream um, Trove packages as well. Now, lastly, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of your commercial alternative here. So just as you know, Oracle, Red Hat, and other vendors are trying to productize OpenStack itself, make it much easier to set up and install, get support for uh, OpenStack, especially the core pieces, so, you know, the networking, the compute, the identity, the storage services, 
A Tesora is doing the same thing with Trove specifically. So in addition to kind of productizing it generally to try and simplify the installation, the configuration, the management, um, you know, the, the testing of it. So you know, just as the Oracle Linux uh, OpenStack platform kind of does for OpenStack itself, so it provides this kind of tested, supported uh, distribution of OpenStack, Tesoro ha has the community edition uh, of their database as a service offering. And they have a, they test a matrix of database engines and versions against uh, operating systems and versions. So you can get a guest image, which is pre-configured, ready to go, which has a lot of value right there in itself. That's also been extensively tested. So you know you can get one that is MySQL 5.6 on Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux 7. And there's a tremendous amount of value there. And given the fact that Tesora has so much knowledge. Um, and ability when it comes to Trove, them being the, the number one contributor to Trove today. Uh, they, they were by far the biggest contributor in Kilo, and I expect that to be the same in Liberty and moving forward. So they have, they also have the ability to get the Enterprise Edition to offer 24-7 support. Um, they have additional management tools you can get access to. Uh, and you can also get support for additional, more proprietary databases. So OpenStack is more uh, focused on open source. But with Tesoro Enterprise Edition, you can get support for, as an example, Oracle database, uh, 11G and 12C, and including the, the multi-tenant features of Oracle database 12C. So I just want to make sure that you're aware of your, your alternative there. So you could, for example, install the OpenStack, uh, or the Oracle OpenStack platform, or the Red Hat OpenStack distribution, and then instead of installing, in those cases, the, the, um, the Trove RPM that they've set up for that platform, you can install the Tesora database as a service offering. 